Hello everyone, it's Michelle, and on this video of Raft, I'm going to be showing you the update with the beehives. Alright, so they've added the update in the game where you can actually harvest and grow your beehives on the raft. And before you could not do that, and they've made it so that you can now harvest and keep beehives on your raft. So let's go ahead and start this process. The first thing that you need to do is you need to go over to your workbench and open this up. And if you go to the very, very top, you will see that there are certain things that they have added into the game. And there's a couple few new things that they've added. And I'll go over this in just a moment. Um, the first thing that you can unlock if you progress already up to getting to Balboa Island is what's called a sweep net. I'm going to go ahead and learn this. And remember, if you don't have these areas unlocked, if they don't have a green bar around them, then you need to put those items in here and research each one but I have all the requirements for this, so I'm gonna learn the sweep net. And I can now learn that. Another thing that they've done with this update, if you go into your inventory and you look, they've reorganized the actual tabs. So if you look in particular over here at tools, they reorganized it so now that there's actually a weapons slot too. And they moved around some things too, like the paddle used to be all under here under tools, but they moved some things around. Let's go ahead and start crafting the sweep net. So you need one bolt, two vine goo, six rope, and 15 planks of wood. That's quite an expensive piece. I have the, the wood. Let's go ahead and grab some of the rope. Vine goo and bolts. Let's go ahead and grab the vine goo. And there's my sweep net. Let's go ahead and equip this and see what that actually looks like. All right, left mouse button and it actually harvest. All right, now the next thing that you will need to do in order for you to actually get some of these things is you need to go to an island that has honey. And if you look, um, I'm actually on my way over to Balboa Island. So I'm gonna go up to my receiver turn that on and you can see I'm going to the blue icon on the map and again just to show you guys as well there's the code 2976 I've already gone to all of those areas Balboa Island is the one with the bears 2976 that's the one that has the mother load and if you kill her you get the mother load achievement all right so let's go ahead and make our way over to this island once you guys have reached Balboa Island or one of the smaller bear islands what you need to now do is go onto the island, but before you do, it's best that you have a couple of things equipped. If you look down at my hotbar, I have two spears. Um, I also have a compound boat on, on me, and I have some metal arrows as well. And I also have armor in my inventory. Let's go ahead and put the armor on. And I also have a backpack with me too. And I have a headla headlight just in case if it gets dark. I have a full bit of water, I have some food on me, and you also need to make sure that you have your net. The one main thing that you need to look for when you're on this island to be careful are the bears that attack you. So be careful when you are coming up to this island because there are bears and they are aggressive and they will attack you. If you've not been to this island yet, you can watch my videos on how Balboa Island works. We're going to go up here and swim and come up to the ramp and again watch out for bears. Make our way all the way to the top. I forgot to mention as well you can see that I have regular healing salve on my hot bar as well. And when you come up here, there should be a bear right here around the corner. But I'm not too worried about him. We just need to look for the honey. And down here to the left, there's the bear. And he does charge quite a bit. Alright, he's gone. We're gonna go ahead and harvest him too. Get the resources for that while we're at it. Alright, so 
over here in this area, let's see if there's any honey. There's some honey here, but I do not see, there's the bees. Okay, so let's go ahead and heal. There we are. And if you take your net out, you should see the cluster of bees. And I just saw them, but they disappeared in front of my face. So let's look around and see if we can see them. There they are. All right, and we need to collect those. So I'm gonna go up to these guys. I'm gonna jump, try to hit them. I think they're too far up at the moment. Let's wait for them to come down a little bit. I think they're a bit shy. Maybe we need to go to them. See if we can get on this ramp. There we go. And there we go, I collected bee jars. Now, here's the thing. You can stay on this island if you want. Because we're on Balboa Island, there are a lot of places that you can collect honey. And you'll notice that the bees actually gravitate towards where there's honeycomb. Go up to the honeycomb while you're at it and collect this as well. And you will get honeycomb. You used to be able to collect the actual jars of honey, but now it's just honeycomb. So make sure you grab those as well. They've changed that in game. There's more here. All right, and I'm actually going to continue on until I find some more areas of honey because I'm gonna get as many jars as possible. All right, and I see more bees and some more honey over here. So, oops, and a bear. Again, look out for the bears because they are aggressive. Alright, he's gone. Collect him up too for valuable resources. Alright, and go up to the honeycomb. Hold E. And you get your honeycomb. Alright, now let's go for the bees themselves. They do go up a little bit high, and it's kind of hard to reach them. Like, I should be able to collect this. Oh, it hurt. Okay. So they do attack you a bit. Got that? Bee jars? I'm going to collect this honeycomb as well while I'm here. And there's another swarm here, but to be fair, that last swarm I never actually got because it would not go close to the ground. There we go. Alright, got that one. I'm going to go ahead back to my raft. It's getting dark right now, and if I look in my inventory, I have 18 honeycomb and 15 jars of bee, or bee jars, whatever you want to call them. Now that you're back to the raft, what you now need to do is you need to go ahead and take the items that you've just gotten, the honeycomb and the bee jar, and you need to put them into your workbench over here. So I'm going to drag one over, and I'm going to research that. And now you can go ahead and learn the beehive. It says, if you care for the bees, they will yield you honeycombs. So let's go ahead and learn that. Drag one honeycomb over. You can research that. And now you can learn how to make honey. And you can also learn what's called a good healing salve. And I'll show you that in just a moment as well. All right, so we still have some honeycomb and some bee jar left over. So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and craft the honeycomb. So if you go over here to the food right here, you can actually see down towards the bottom, there's your healing salve right there. But what we're interested is the beehive. So when you go over to other, which is the little box right here, what looks like a storage, you go down to the bottom, there's beehive. And this requires a lot of materials. You need 20 planks of wood, eight plastic, four clay, two metal hinges, and 15 jars of honey. So I need to actually go back out 
and I need to harvest one more bee jar. So I'm going to quickly go back out and get a bee jar. If you were on a smaller island, I'm not sure if you would really be able to get that. You probably would. Just harvest as many of those as you can. I'm going to quickly go ahead and grab the missing ones that I need. Now that I have the 15 jars of honey, I can go ahead and craft this now. And remember, these are the resources that you need. It's quite a lot. So we're going to go ahead and craft that. Now that I have the beehive that's crafted, you're going to notice that I put some flower seeds on my hotbar. And you need to have some flower seeds as well as some small crop plots or some shoes that you can grow your plants. And what you need to do is you need to grow the flowers around the actual beehive. I don't really have a lot of space on my raft right now, so I'm going to put it right about here. And I'm probably going to have to move these bird nests, but that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put this right here. And I'm going to put some crop plots, some of the small ones, really close next to it. And again, if you look at the picture that's on the actual side of the beehive, you'll see a red, black, blue, and white flower. So it tells you what, um, tells you that the flowers need to grow by it. I'm not sure if it's actually that color. I probably will put those colors right next to it and not yellow. And I'm going to put one over here. Move seagull. And then I'm going to put some shoes as well because shoes are also things that you can grow some of the plants in. And just to be safe, I'm going to put one really close. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some, I'm going to put a white one there, there, there. Put a red, 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 black, black, and then blue. And I'm out of seeds. I'm going to go ahead and put the yellow down too. Why not? And let's see, there we go. I need some more seeds to put in those, so let's go grab some more seeds. I thought I had enough. Let's go ahead and just take all white. And remember, it's a good idea to have the, um, the seeds as well too, because that's dye for your raft, so that you can paint different things. Now you're going to notice that you need some water as well too. And again, these crop plots here are actually better to grow than the shoes because you only need one little bit of water from your water bottle. And once you put that down, you can hear it. And you can see the bees actually spawn in and you know that you've done it just right. The problem that you're going to face though is that you need to make sure that the seagull does not come by and eat at your flowers. And it looked like I only needed one, maybe two of these crop plots here. But just to be safe, because I neglect my plants quite a bit, is I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I have as many flowers surrounding the actual beehive as possible. And it looks like these are all watered, except for this one. Poor little guy. And there we go. And there's a seagull right there. You can kill it or you can just run up to it and it'll run off. You could even put a scarecrow down too, which is probably what I'll do. There we go. Alright, and what we now need to do is wait for this to collect some honey. So if you look at the actual beehive right now, it just has some bees surrounding the outside and it makes a faint little buzzing sound. And eventually, once it gets full, you're going to notice that honey will start seeping from the sides. We're going to wait a little bit in game and we're going to see how long it actually takes for us to get some honey. And to show you guys the time too, I'm going to go up to my clock and it is exactly 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Let's go ahead and wait and see how long this actually takes to harvest some honey. All right, and if you go up to the honey now, you can see that it has some honey dripping off the edge of the beehive and we can pick up honeycomb, but I'm gonna run over to the time real quick to show you guys. And it took six hours in game. So when you go back to the honeycomb, 
Let's see how much you get. Go away, bird. I got three honeycomb from that. Alright. Now, let's go ahead and start making some of the other things. So now you actually have to craft honey. When it was the previous update, or before this update, you used to be able to go up to those bee, hot bee areas on this island and just collect straight honey, but now you have to actually craft it. And the honey requires one glass and six honeycomb. Luckily, I've been saving up my glass, or I've been crafting a bit of it. So let's go ahead and drag that over, and we're going to make two honey. And it went on my hotbar, as you guys can see below. Alright, so that is how you get some honey. And again, you can... wants me to harvest the plant, not the honey. So that's how you get honey now in-game. They've changed it. So let's now do one last thing. There was one other little area that we wanted to talk about, which was the good healing salve versus the healing salve. And in my inventory, you can see that I have two healing salve, and we're actually going to make the regular, or excuse me, the good healing salve. So I have two, it requires two eggs, one clay, and six honeycomb. And I also have some spare honeycomb. Let's see. This one here. And we're going to make one, two. That used up quite a bit of that honeycomb there. So hopefully this is a really good healing salve. And we're going to actually test it and compare it between the good healing salve versus the regular healing salve. Right, let's go ahead and test the healing salve. So on my hotbar you can see that I have the mucky gray brownish looking one, that's the regular, and the nice golden which is the good healing salve. The first one that we're going to test together is the regular healing salve. And I'm going to purposely get by bit by the shark twice. So there's once, and I'm going to stay close to my raft so that I don't die. Here he comes for the second bite. And we're going to go ahead and immediately apply the regular healing salve. And you can see that it takes away, or excuse me, it gives back the same amount that it took away from me. We're going to put two down. And two healing salves barely gives me my health back. So let's go ahead and test the good healing salve. Let the shark bite me once. Come on buddy. Come on Bruce. You can do it. There we go. Let's get out of the water. And let's apply this. And that gave me back double of the regular healing salve. So that is very, very useful. Alright guys, and that is how you harvest your own honey in-game. And this is for the new update for the beehive on Raft. Thank you very much for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, a subscribe, and leave a comment below. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time.